that so today i would like to show you the products that i have used up as of may 2013 and this is something that i have been wanting to do in my blog for quite a while now but i just didn't have the time to do it so yeah let's begin so i'm going to start with the beauty related products that i use in my hair body and then i'm just going to transition to makeup and nail polish items so the first thing that i have here is actually not not a shampoo that I use in my hair. This is actually something that I use for my makeup brushes, but it's still shampoo. So I'm going to show it to you. This is the Johnson's Baby Shampoo. This isn't the regular, uh, the regular one, but yeah, I love using this for my brushes, and I just thought I'd show it, show it to you because it's almost empty. I still have a few drops of it left. Regardless, it's just I know I don't think that I'll be able to use my entire. I'll be able to wash my entire stash with just you know. With a mirror drop of this. So, moving on to the next item is the L'Oreal Paris Full Repair 3X Conditioner. And this is the product that came with my BDJ box or the L'Oreal BDJ box. I'm not really sure what that month is, but I'm going to put down the link below and I'm going to link that down below, that unboxing vid, uh, not video, unboxing thing below. And this came with it and it comes with a shampoo. So another hair product that I have here is this Yoss Repair Therapy for for damaged hair as well. And this is something that I got from my first BDJ box. I love my BDJ boxes. They gave me really worthwhile things. But the thing is that I really wasn't able to enjoy this. I mean, this was included in one of my favorite posts. But the thing is that when you no longer have the conditioner, this shampoo is just basically an ordinary stuff. So the next item that I have here is, I think this is my last hair product, but this is something that is not really empty yet, but it's about to be empty and I'm going to have to run to a department store in order to get one. This is the Tresemme Anti-Hair Fall Mask and this is included in my February March favorites i'm not really sure what month is that but it was just included in my favorites this year and i do love this one it's very inexpensive it's very affordable it's only 159 bucks and it really helps in managing your hair i'm not really sure if it's great in terms of in terms of you know hair fall control but this one really works well if you oh <laughs> this one really works well if you would like to just have a hair mask that you know that will make your hair more manageable tangle free and stuff this one really works amazing in that particular criteria and as you can see i'm about to you know i'm it's nearly empty or yeah it's not even half empty it's nearly empty i only have a few uses of it left i think i have two to three uses of it left depending on how much i use it now I'm going to show you the items that I use for my face in terms of, you know, washing it. This is the first one. This is a Neutrogena Deep Clean Revitalizing Pink Grapefruit Ultra Foam Cleanser. And that is a mouthful. Okay, so I do love this one. It really smells great. It's very moisturizing. It doesn't. I, it really cleanses well. I'm not really sure how it does with, in terms of, you know, removing makeup because I prefer to remove my makeup in an old-fashioned way or yeah I just prefer to remove my makeup with a makeup remover but and with regards to this one I love this one but the thing is that I find it a bit too expensive or a bit too pricey I think this one costs 300 bucks per bottle and it really smells great and I love the fact that it's a foaming facial wash because I do love foams I'm like a kid like that I'm a kid like that so yeah uh with regards to repurchasing of course I was to repurchase it I am definitely reconsidering on purchasing it again when I don't have my oh so the next item that I have is the Celotec hydration gentle exfoliating facial wash and this is something that I have been uh, switching or alternating when I don't want the my apricot scrub because that can be a bit too abrasive and you don't really want something that is that abrasive and you know all the time so this is something that I use and this is not really that abrasive it's just like it has some sort of like mini gel beads that sort of like dissolves whenever you do like that and the thing with the apricot scrub is that it, it takes time to, to to dissolve or whatever does it dissolve I'm not really sure I'm, I'm, I'm having a dumb moment here but yeah as, as far as as far as I know this is or no 
I know for a fact that this is less abrasive than the apricot scrub brightening uh, facial wash that I do have downstairs. But yeah, I love this one in terms of just cleaning. And this is the one that I have been using along with the the regular one, the, the non-exfoliating one. I use that to replace this one because this is a lot. This is a lot more affordable. So the next item that I have is something that I use for my hands and these are and this is actually the Sakura hand foam sanitizer I'm not really sure if you can recognize the bottle if you if you if you use the Sakura foaming hand sanitizer if you received the first ever salad box then you will probably notice or recognize the bottle but this is what it looks like this is what the bottle looks like basically I just removed the label I am I, I actually like removing their labels because I like how they look like being just, you know, naked like that. So, yeah. Moving on to another item is something that I forgot to include when, uh, something that I forgot to include earlier. And this is something that I use after washing my face. I'm not really sure how you use this, but this is something that I use after I wash my face, as I have mentioned. This is the Yves Rocher. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Irose, 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 whatever. I might be butchering the name, but this is the Eve Rose Hydro Vegetal Hydrating Cleansing Milk. And this is something that I got from my BDJ box as well. I love, love, love BDJ box. I'm not really sure how how will I be able to um, to express that more because they really include uh, decent travel items and yeah I love this one because uh, it really helped moisturize my skin if you're not really uh, familiar with me or if you don't really know me I do have a very dry skin sometimes and this one really suits that particular criteria so the next product that I have is something that doesn't really have a cap anymore but this is actually the the snowy container the skin to stem cell snowy container I'm not really sure I'm just I'm going to link it down below if you're interested but it has been discontinued and I love it I use it as a primer I believe Bing Project Awesome also uses it before as a primer I don't really know if she's still using it right now because uh, as I mentioned it's already discontinued it's uber cheap and it's really effective in terms of anti-aging and stuff and you know removing the dark spots off your face I love this one my mama loves it she barely even allows me to use it so yeah too bad it's gone Joe and then the next item that I have here is something that I also use for my face so I'm just going to go in random order okay because I, uh, my sash is still right here okay so so uh, the next product that I have is the uh, what is this the Bifestive Moist Cleansing Lotion and this is nearly empty it's not really that empty but you know it's going there but this is something that I use to clean my face and uh, no to clean my makeup off and I don't really use a, um, a cold cream anymore I don't really use the Pond's cold cream anymore because I just find it too I don't know whenever I use Pond's cold whenever I use the Pond's cold cream method like you apply Pond's cold cream and then you remove it using a facial wipes I find weird bumps all over my skin and when I use this it doesn't really I don't really experience that and the thing is that uh, this one doesn't really remove or this one is not really that effective when it comes to removing waterproof uh, mascaras or waterproof eye makeup so what I do is that I after removing my makeup I lather on some beauty oil or some the Celtic, uh hydrating cleansing whatever oil I use that to I use that after I use this one so the next product that I have in here is the high-end dry and centered roll-on and this is something that I have been using almost my entire life forever ever since I started using deodorants this is my best friend it's very inexpensive it's only 89.79 pesos and I love it I love 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 it because it's it works it doesn't really make my armpit smell if that's TMI I do apologize but it doesn't really make my armpit smell it doesn't make 
make my or it doesn't make my underarm smell or or you know sweaty or it doesn't really dry out my underarm area i i just love it so and it's only 89.75 pesos so yeah and so moving on to another item this is the uh Zensest Tetzel EDT and this is something that I have been raving about in my blog. If you read my blog you will know that uh, I just did a haul somewhere sometime this year and I just repurchased my second bottle. This is actually my first bottle and I'm about to and I'm about to consume my second bottle and I'm about to repurchase it again. This is this is a staple in my daily routine. I love this one. It smells so freaking good. My mama loves it. That's pretty pretty much why we that's pretty much why I repurchased it over and over again. But my aunt, my mama also loves coral. Oh my god. Whew. Yeah. It's like I'm being chased. But yeah, my mama also loves coral. That's why, yeah, we purchased two bottles at a time. But so far, I have only repurchased the thistle. Thistle. So, yeah, I love this one. And I will continue to repurchase this one. And I hope that it becomes a permanent or something i think it's i think it's a permanent but yeah you never know so the next item that i have is another perfume and this is the ralph lauren um, ralph by ralph lauren and i love this one this is like deja vu for me every every time i use it it's like my birthday and i love this one i'm going to definitely repurchase it once i and once i consume my or once I finish my Banana Republic, which is something that I will be getting because that is also about to be empty. So, hold on guys. So, I was wrong. So, it's not about to be empty. It's empty. This is the Banana Republic W perfume or for women perfume. Not really sure if it's the original scent. But, but this is something that I have been loving ever since I was a teenager. I just, you know, didn't have the budget to buy me my own perfume. But... I love this, love, 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 love this, but unfortunately, it's about to be empty. It only has a few drops left, and I don't know, maybe I just splash this all over. That's why I, you know, <laughs> so moving on. This is something that I have before I go to makeup. This is the Vaseline Healthy White UV Lightening, Whitening, and Even Tone Lotion. So this is this was my favorite lotion and then i then i uh then i decided to switch things up a bit and now i'm using the nivea moisturizing something but yeah this is my favorite lotion i love this one it's very light in terms it's, it's very light in terms of consistency it's not greasy i love this so what are you waiting for by now but now I, I'm running out of words seriously, but I will definitely repurchase this if I if I ever if I But I will definitely repurchase it if in case I have a lotion shortage because if you've been if you've been reading my unboxing um, Unboxing posts you will know that I have been sent a ton of lotions and even though I gave some of them away I'm bound to receive more and I still have a few more that was given to me so so the next, so finally we're on to makeup, and I'm just going to get one more. I'm back. So um, so I'm back. So the first makeup product that I would like to show you is the Benefit the Poor Professional Deluxe Sample Size, and this is something I'm not really sure if I'm if I'm you know staying at the right position or if I'm just you know moving moving in every part of you know if i'm moving around but i do apologize for that so the first item or the first makeup product that i do have in here is the uh benefit the poor professional uh deluxe sample size that i got from my sample room haul or not really a haul it's the only thing that i got but yeah it's something that i got from sample room when they first started giving out products and this is something that i really love because it's very effective in terms of keeping your makeup intact it doesn't really make you look oily and yeah i don't have an oily skin but when i do this one prevents my face from being oily that makes sense but yeah i love it but the thing is that i'm not really sure about repurchasing it because it's hefty um, it's pricey why did i say hefty but yeah it's pricey so next 
is this one. This is the BB for you to dream girl love light BB powder with SPF 15 PA plus plus and it's not really that empty yet. It, I've just hit pan and I do love this one because it provides a good coverage but the longevity kind of not that good but yeah if you're just you know running an errand or if you're just going somewhere someplace else and you just need an instant cover-up and yeah you don't you don't really have time to put on a lot of makeup you just need you know some concealer and this one yeah this one is really good so and this one can fit right into your pocket or maybe into your mini bag so apparently i have no memory left in my camera and it just decided to cut me off with whether i'm shooting or not so the next product that i'm going to show you is the elf contouring blush and bronzing powder and this is a proof that i am such a klutz i dropped it the very first day i bought it i dropped it at the mall and that's why when i came home this part the blush part was was completely shattered i wasn't even I wasn't even able to repair it. I didn't repurchase it anymore because, you know, I just need this part. So, but yeah, so I was able to use some of it, but I didn't really bother assembling it because it was all over my floor. And, well, when I tried to open it, you know, it's just, it's like, it's like a bomb that's, that basically just exploded onto my face. But am I making any sense? But it's, it's all over my room. It's all over my floor. I'm... I'm trying to be consistent here so so yeah this is what it looks like I'm sure you're all familiar with this one this is a bronzing shade and I still have a few but I've already hit pan that I have and apparently I forgot that I have this one because it's it's in the bottom of my set so I'm just gonna have to you know put it back but leave it on the top so it won't really so so i'll still be able to use it because i do love this product see i'm such a glut <laughs> okay so i have a lot of makeup particles on my hand so oops so the next batch of items that i'm going to show you are the concealers i do have two maybelline concealers in here the first one is something that was available in here but now it's been discontinued i believe this is the Maybelline Angel Fit Concealer, and this is what it looks like. I do, I absolutely love this one. It's a, it really provides a really good coverage. I haven't really used this for such a long time now, and I use this for my under eye area, and it really lasts for a long time. I love this one. It doesn't crease. It matches my skin color. I love it. That's why I emptied the whole thing. And right when I was about to repurchase it, the, the Maybelline sales shop told me that it's been discontinued. And they do have the minerals line, the smaller one, but I don't know. I, I don't know. So the next product that I have here is also a concealer from Maybelline. This is the Dr Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. Am I showing it the right way? So Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. It comes with this. Um, comes with this uh, applicator it comes with a clicky clicky tube as well but apparently you know it's already up there so I have no it doesn't have any material left but you know. I am in the shade of nude and I love this one because it has a gel consistency and you know it doesn't really I can use it as a highlight and I can also use it as a concealer and it really does well in both criteria so love it i wish that it's available here but i bought it from shannon cosmetics so if you would like one of these go grab it at chillings i guess so the next product that i have is another elf product this is the elf eyelid primer and i love this one in terms of you know just using it for a short period of time or you know if you're if your eyeshadow just needs to be intact for you know more than for let's say up to five hours but if it's longer than that in my case it doesn't really stay long stay long that much because my eyeliner kind of smudges all the time and it doesn't really this doesn't really help it so i know but i've already emptied it and i'm about to open and uh, i'm about to empty my second tube as well so so the next is i have two mascaras in here the first one is a maybelline the magnum 
mascara and I think that this is actually the equivalent of Colossalize but don't quote me on that but yeah this is again the Magnum Volumized Volume Express Mascara and I love this one this is a hit in my case because I have been using this almost every time I go out or every time I go somewhere I love this one it instantly curls my lashes it holds it holds my curls and what else it volumizes and somehow lengthens my eyelashes so love that one so the next product so the next mascara that I have here is the Tony Moly prestige mascara and this is something that I have loved for a really long time actually I love this because it's very lengthening but right now I'm not really into that I am into volumizing but it really holds my curls really well and if you are into if you would like something that can lengthen your lashes then this would be it because I have missed my lashes have been mistaken for you know for as a falsies or as I have been I have been mistaken for wearing falsies whenever I wear this so yeah Welcome to another video here at Jet Ski Zero. So today I would like to show you the product. Hello everyone, welcome to another video here at Jet Ski Zero. So today I will be doing some swap. Well, 